Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. This is tutorial part 3 for structural designs of stadium start to finish using Prota structure software. In the previous two tutorials, that is part 1 and part 2, we have seen that uh, modeling of column, beam and inclined slab plus that of inclined shear wall for uh, the setting purpose. Today we are going to model the truss system together including the parlin pressing plus uh, cladding watch up to the end now it's a time for subscribe my channel like this video and write your feeling on the comment section thank you let's start today's tutorial this is what the truss system looks like so i will tell you some basic point regarding to uh, the truss system uh, plus that of all its components that may be uh, the cladding the pressing plus uh, all about uh, the purling so uh, the truss at uh, the starting point has uh, a height of uh, two meter and is connected with uh, the colon like this and the truss at the last point or at the end point has uh, a total height of uh, one meter and uh, the truss system uh, looks uh, like this and this is uh, all about uh, the purly plus uh, that of uh, the cladding and the uh, brushing system uh, looks uh, like this i will uh, show you it's later so all the pressing looks uh, like this the exception is uh, all about the pressing so uh, let's uh, go to model this uh, one by one this is a model file we are going to do from tutorial part one to tutorial part two uh, that includes how to model the column beam inclined shear wall and slab uh, for the setting purpose you can go back and check it so uh, for today's tutorial purpose uh, we are going to model all the truss systems and its components so uh, to do this let's go to uh, the plan view so right click on it go to uh, the plan view from this uh, let's go to uh, the roof uh, story that is the last story our truss system uh, starts from uh, this point and have a connection uh, on this uh, point also uh, to the column and into it as the last points of the stadium that is uh, at this point so uh, let's model it to do this, uh, let's select the modeling menu here. Uh, from this, uh, select uh, the truss system. After selecting uh, the truss system, uh, click on uh, this point. And uh, end with uh, the last point, that is uh, this point that mean. After that, uh, the truss system for uh, the stadium has uh, a slanted part to the bottom and a straight part uh, at the top, as I show it in the 3D model. Uh, so I have to select this a truss system after selecting this truss system uh, our truss system uh, looks like this from the architectural plan that mean so i have to select this type of truss after selecting uh, this truss uh, let's show it uh, in 3d after uh, showing it in 3d uh, we are going to uh, modify all the geometries uh, by uh, using uh, all these uh, parameters so uh, let's make it okay and uh, show it in uh, 3d so uh, make it skip after that, uh, I will show it in 3D first. Let's rotate it. So uh, our truss system uh, looks uh, like this. So this point must be uh, up uh, 2 meter and uh, this point must be uh, 1 meter. And uh, the top of uh, the truss must be a uh, straight, not uh, slanted like this. And uh, the bottom uh, must be uh, slanted. So uh, we are going to modify all these properties together. So uh, double click on it. After that, uh, the height, that is uh, the first height, uh, HL uh, must be uh, two meter. So uh, let's go to uh, the HL. After that, I have to modify it as uh, two meter. So uh, the truss system is uh, modified uh, like this. After modifying uh, the HL, uh, that is the first uh, height, that is a uh, two meter. And the last point of uh, the truss system must be one meter. So it's a uh, one meter. After modifying the uh, first and the last points of uh, the uh, truss system, let's go to modify uh, the spacing between uh, the vertical cords. So uh, to do this, uh, the span length between the vertical cord is 3.16 uh, meters. So you have to modify it to uh, 1 meter. You can modify uh, the spacing as you want. After that, uh, the number of span is uh, modified uh, as soon as or modified uh, immediately. After that, our truss system looks uh, like this. Uh, let's show it in 3D. After show it in 3D, I have to uh, modify other property or so. Uh, make it okay. Uh, our truss looks uh, like this. So uh, the truss system for a uh, stadium must be uh, slanted 
at the bottom and it must be uh, straight at the top so uh, to do this i have to double click it again after that i have to make an uh, invert trust so you have to click on this uh, property so uh, our trust system is uh, changed automatically the top is uh, straight and the bottom is uh, slanted like this after that uh, let's modify other property also but before that let's show it in 3d again as i change it uh, the trust property uh, as inverted so uh the trust system is a uh, downward like this but you have to uh make it upward uh, that your trust to a uh, two meter at this point and a uh, two meter also at the last point so uh, to do this you have to make it a uh, double click on it again uh, left vertical offset uh, you have to make a uh, two meter up that is uh, two thousand uh, millimeter so let's show it in 3d have you seen the change our trust is uh upward a uh, two meter like this so uh, in similar way you have to make a uh, this uh, upward as a uh, two meter. So to do this, you have to uh, go to the right vertical offset uh, from this point. Have to make a uh, 2000 uh, millimeter like this. After that, uh, look at the change. So uh, make it okay. So uh, our trust system uh, looks uh, like this. The first point is that uh, you have to uh, make connection with this. So I have to uh, make uh, up uh, this uh, column to a uh, two meter. So uh, to do this, click on the column, right click it, go to uh, the property menu. From this, uh, select the 3D. So uh, from this, uh, to make up our column, you have to uh, make a two, uh, two meter, that is uh, 2000 uh, millimeter to uh, the uh, top. After that, uh, make it update. So uh, our column is uh, updated uh, like this. So in similar way, uh, you have to uh, make uh, this uh, column to up so uh, for this purpose i have to uh, double click on it again so in similar way uh, go to uh, the 3d menu from this uh, the dz or the elevation part at the top how to make a uh, 270 uh, millimeter this is uh, for the first trial so i uh, make it update our column is uh, aligned with the trust system so uh, in similar way, all the column uh, must be uh, go up uh, as a uh, two meter uh, around uh, this axis and uh, 270 millimeter uh, towards uh, this axis. After that, uh, we are going to draw uh, all the beam uh, towards this end at uh, the top. After drawing all this beam, uh, let's uh, go to uh, replicate all this truss system. After that, uh, we are going to uh, draw the uh, cladding, the purling system, plus uh, that of the pressing. So uh, to do this, let's go to uh, the plan view. Let's go to cancel all this uh, column and beam. After that, uh, we are going to uh, modify in similar way. So let's cancel it first. Make it uh, delete. In similar way, we have to delete all these uh, columns again. Make it uh, delete. We are going to modify this uh, column property in similar way to uh, this uh, two column. After that, we are going to replicate it. Double click on it. After that, go to 3D. You have to modify it as uh, two meters to the top. After that, uh, make it update. So uh, in similar way, I have to double click on this. Go to the 3D. How to uh, modify it as 207 uh, millimeter. Make it update. After modifying uh, the column property like this, you have to double click on it. After that, you can draw uh, the column like this by uh, simply dragging on it. So uh, like this, in a similar way, I have to uh, modify this uh, column property. The alignment is different, so I have to modify a uh, 2000 uh, millimeter like this, make it update. In similar way, I have to modify this uh, column property that is uh, 270 uh, millimeter again. So uh, using this uh, column property, I have to draw all your column uh, like this by simply uh, dragging, so uh, like this. So uh, the, in similar way, I have to draw also uh, our beam starting from this point to uh, the last point. This is uh, all about. In similar way, let's draw the beam uh, starting from this point to the last point. So uh, to do this, let's use this property, right click on it. After that, uh, click on uh, this center point to uh, the last point of the column. For this uh, span, that means, so I have to move uh, this 
beam toward this at the center of the column uh, by using your uh, keyboard. After that, you have to uh, move uh, toward the top of uh, the column and I will show it in the uh, 3D. So let's show it in 3D. That is what the beam looks like in 3D. So uh, the beam must be a uh, go upward to the uh, top of uh, the column. This is what to support the truss system. So uh, to do this, double click on the beam. So uh, from the beam property, uh, go to uh, the 3D menu. From this, I uh, have to uh, go up uh, 270 uh, millimeter to uh, the I and J uh, end of the beam. That is the starting point in the uh, Endpoints of the beam that means so I have to make it a 270 like this after that update it So automatically the beam is uh, go up and support uh, the truss system like this. So uh, go to uh, the uh, Plan view again Let's go to the plan view After that I have to uh, use this uh, Property so you think this property uh, let's draw all the beam uh, like this After drawing the beam, uh, let's go to uh, the 3D menu. From this, uh, let's check the beam. So uh, the beam is uh, right now. After that, you have to draw the beam toward this. That is as a top type beam. So let's use this property. So uh, starting from this point to uh, the last point, you can uh, draw like this. All the beam is uh, drawn one by one. After drawing the beam like this, uh, let's go to uh, replicate the truss system. Uh, after replicating all the truss system, uh, we are going to uh, draw other uh, truss components. So uh, let's go to the plan view. Let's replicate the truss system to all the axes. So uh, to do this, go to uh, the modeling menu from this uh, the truss. After that, this is the starting points of uh, the truss. Click on it. After that, uh, let's click to uh, the last point. So uh, the uh, modified uh, truss uh, property is used. After that, make it okay. So uh, in similar way, I have to uh, click on this or I have to replicate all this uh, property of uh, truss in similar way to all the uh, axes. Uh, after that, uh, I will show it in 3D. Make it skip. Let's show it in 3D. Right click on it, make it 3D. This is what the truss system looks like. You can change uh, the property of the truss. That may be uh, the uh, material property or the section property as you want. So uh, let's proceed to uh, draw all the uh, purlin. So uh, to draw the purlin, uh, let's uh, go to uh, the modeling menu. Uh, from this, uh, click on uh, purlin. After clicking on purlin, I have to click on uh, the first uh, truss system. After clicking the first truss system, I have to click again uh, the last uh, truss system. After that, uh, the Perlin uh, section property is appeared like this. So uh, you can edit all the uh, Perlin property, uh, starting from uh, the profile or uh, that of uh, the section property used or uh, the uh, standard. So you have to select the standard uh, you want. After selecting uh, the section property of uh, the Perlin, uh, you can also edit uh, the uh, spacing of uh, the Perlin and some uh, other property like this. Uh, after uh, editing all this property, how to make uh, it okay. Our Perlin system is a uh, draw like this. Uh, let's zoom it and show it uh, in detail. So uh, this is uh, the Perlin uh, looks like. After modeling all the Perlin like this, uh, let's proceed to draw uh, first the, the brushing system. After that, uh, we're going to uh, draw all the cladding. So uh, to draw the brushing system, let's uh, go to the modeling menu uh, from this Let's select uh, the brushing. So uh, let's uh, select uh, the uh, two trolls that we are going to uh, brush. After that, uh, our brushing uh, property is coming like this, both in 3D and 2D. So uh, let's use a uh, two uh, or let's use uh, the express uh, like this. Uh, you can uh, change the property as of a brushing type that may be X, L or V. So uh, after, uh, let's use uh, for this tutorial purpose, the express, you can change all the material property uh, that may be uh, the profile or uh, the standards of the material. After that, uh, let's make it okay. So uh, the pressing is uh, coming or the pressing is uh, modeled uh, like this. Uh, you can uh, press uh, all your uh, truss system in this way. Let's show it uh, in 3D uh, automatically. So this is uh, what the press uh, looks like. 
it's at the bottom and top face of our trust system so uh, you can draw all the pressing uh, or you can change the pressing type uh, as you want as an structural engineer so uh, after drawing all the uh, pressing uh, let's proceed to draw uh, the cladding so uh, to draw the cladding uh, let's go to the modeling menu also after that uh, select or click on uh, the cladding so uh, let's select all the purlin after that our cladding is uh, coming so you can change all the uh, property of uh, the cladding the thickness uh, in this way uh, after that uh, let's make it okay so uh, the cladding is uh, appeared like this you can change any uh, property of uh, cladding or that may be uh, the truss system you can model uh, our truss system plus uh, all parts of the stadium like this this is all about uh, today's tutorial after completing uh, our model like this you have to proceed to set all the load combination after setting uh, the load combination using your building code of standard you have to run the analysis and uh, design our project after that uh, you have to export final detailed drawing write your feeling for a uh, tutorial part 4 thank you for watching goodbye